let's see, starting from the front, I'll start with that Porsche. Uh, I'd beat it. Z06, uh, depends how the guy drives it. If he drives it well, I'm not so sure. It'd be a tough race. Trans Am, yeah, I'd waste that guy around the track. Just saying. Don't know what that SUV is. That white Shelby, I don't know, that thing's got some power. Guy knows how to drive it, that'd be a tough race. Yeah, Mitsubishi, yeah, he's wasted. M5, eh, I think I'd take that guy. Waste this car, just saying. Hey, I'm just saying, man. When I built this thing, that's what I'm considering, is, you know, what would it go up against? Value, what it can do for the money. You're watching the Nut and Fancy Project. This is stage two, I guess, complete of killer. STS turbocharged 350Z getting ready to run it at the track it's not a pure race car I told you guys that last year in the videos it is a streetable daily driver that's race ready that's the POU on this car as such it has a lot of extra weight that I did not get rid of it has air conditioner stereo still in there regular seats are in there power seats at that if I got serious I could shave I don't know 200 300 pounds off it put a lithium-ion battery in it yeah but I'm not doing that I just took reasonable measures to shave weight and make it competitive against you saw it earlier a Chevy Z06 Corvette yeah that was a build goal for this this car now from last year some guys would say well nothing how come you didn't go with a Z06 how come you didn't go with a Mustang or some other car like that uh, several reasons. One, I wanted something unique and special, and as you can see with stage two complete, I think uh, I've achieved it. It's just insane looking. Some of you guys are saying last year when I ran at the track, hey dude, just leave it the way it is, it looks great, and I agree it did look cool, but uh, nothing like this. Yeah, I get people rolling up with their cell phones taking shots of it. No, I'm not making that up. It happens. It's kind of fun. It's fun driving a, you know, kind of a, a showy car that's capable too. So underneath this is a very capable track ready car. And if I can drive it properly, I'll attempt to show you that in the follow on videos. So my son Tactical Doodles driving his bike here. Again, Miller Motorsports Park in Tooele. It's kind of a smoggy day. There's a forest fire burning over here and it's raining ash everywhere winds are about 15 to 20 miles an hour and there's a lot of cars here so I'm not sure how many runs I'll be able to get in so from last year here's a couple things that are different and maybe I'll go over the same ones as well uh, as you can tell we've got some carbon fiber Cybon components this is a Cybon hood this is a weight savings measure that did not affect the comfort or drivability of the car so it made sense it's clear broad there in the front Cybon makes some outstanding carbon fiber components for the Z. They did have a gold weave one, but only in the front, so I wanted to match the trunk lid, so I just got that one. Uh, it didn't fit readily. We had to do some modification on it, and hopefully it stays shut. It doesn't fly up as I hit about a buck thirty on the straights. I meant to bring some tape and tape it, but I don't have it with me. What? You don't have the tape? Then. Here's the trunk lid. I got this off eBay. This is a nice little CF upper air dam for the trunk lid. Love it. It's mostly for looks. These two, not these two, but this item here saves a lot of weight. A ton of weight. This is a real heavy trunk lid. I had to change out the glass when I did it. Real happy with it. Tent it all around. Uh, Pro Tent in Utah did the work for me. I love that shop. They're super high quality. This is a wing. There's a brand at the top, and it was the subject of much research by myself and wind tunnel testing. 350C turbo, you don't see that every day. I'm kidding about the wind tunnel, dudes. It's just, uh, I love the looks of it. It completes it visually. It's what I want to do visually with the car. Bring the, you know, those back haunches back a little bit. I do believe it gives some downforce, having driven this, driven this on a close course at about 140, seemed like it did. Non-scientific, 
I did a two-tone paint job on this. It did black on the ends. CF is in the middle. That is carbon fiber matching the deck lid and the front. So thematically, you can tell that, you know, I like, uh, the looks are real important, you know? It's not just about track. If it was, you know, none of this stuff would be on. None of the skirts would be on, just be lowered. Anything that did not directly contribute to track performance be peeled off. But it's a blend, you know, it's a it's treatable race car is kind of the POU again. The tires I'm running these are really awesome. These are the NT05 Nittos. They are a soft, summer, dry only race tire. They're blocked as you can see. They're wearing okay. I don't drive this every day, it's just every so often I'll drive the Z. But man, am I happy with them. They really, really stick. They're riding on forged uh, milligrams by Koenig. Love those rims. Love them, love them, love them. This was a subject of much research, like I told you last year in the walk around video. Uh, a lot of work actually went in uh, to the design of the wheels and the setup for what you're seeing out here, the track. Um, the 350Z comes with a staggered wheel setup, so you have larger 19s in the back, 18s on the front. Right now we're running 18 flats all around, and the size you can see is 265 35R18s. And it corners like a bat out of hell. Yeah, I'm just saying, it really, really corners. That's why when I saw some of those cars, I was like, yeah, I think I can take them because this, this sucker, it rips. You know, if I can nail my shifts. That's always a big F, by the way. Side skirts. Love it, love it, love it. You can see there, look how low these are. They are about an inch, 1.4 inches off the freaking ground. This is something you probably would not want to run on a real race car. And this is what worries me bringing this out to the track. Because if I go, if I overshoot a corner and hit those red white bumps, um, I can shear those right off, and those are very expensive to put on. Those are JP Visage from Japan. They had to be specially modified by Unique Auto Body. Jeremy at Unique Auto Body did those for me and built special brackets. It was not an easy install. Which brings us to a very <laughs> important point as we drive this car today. I'll be driving it about eight tenths, not ten tenths. The object is not to wreck it. <laughs> you know, I've got no sponsors. If I wreck it, I fix it. You know, and these are hard to find. I don't even know if they're making them still. Uh, the front end, by the way, if you're wondering, Z Guys is a 3D carbon. It is polyurethane, not fiberglass, so it can take some hits. Underneath is actually a weather seal off a truck lift gate. I liked how that dropped it down a little bit more. Just a great front end. Uh, we had to do some fitment on that as well So it didn't like totally fit good chance to look at the intercooler here by STS turbo. It's polished I went through some skunk today on the drive here, so I've got my fins need to be picked through with a precision precision uh, Tweezers this is a Mishimoto oil cooler because the oil runs pretty hot in the Z namely about 220 Celsius if you see it while I'm running, it's kind of, uh, I think it's coming right out of the motor, not post cooler, So it'll still show hot, but it is working. God, there's a lot of cars here, dude. Check this out. Stacked up, I'd waste that guy. Uh, it'd be a good race, I think I'd get him. Waste that guy, done. Mustang, depends how he drives, it'd be a good race. Is that, uh, <laughs> let's see, what is that in the back there? And this is just fun. If you guys are getting all bent out of shape, it's just fun. If you come to the track, it's kind of, you know, good sportsmanship competition. That's what I like. Having fun, man. Taking it to the track, seeing what you can do. That's a good race right there. That Camaro, that Z01 right there. That's a good car. They're fast. Uh, but word to your mother, I raced one uh, informally on the street and he lost. Just saying. Next point. In stage one last year when I showed you this car, it was actually running uh, about 367 rear wheel. And the good news is I had Mark Michaud at STS Turbo do a final tune on this in May. And we're putting down 417 rear wheel now in high boost. So I'm very happy with it. And remember this, two things. One, it's running the stock clutch stock motor stock clutch stock motor for cost i mean you know geez guys who say hey you need to put this clutch in put that clutch in cool man 
you know, email Tactical Doodle your uh, Visa card number with the authorization to charge and I'll order it up. Here's my boost switch for it. And I've got two little rubber nubs here so I can find it. It's just a rocker switch. It's real simple. So right now it's in low boost. Rock forward, that's high boost. So some guys will say, well, why don't you do this and have a tune box? Kiss, man. Keep it simple. That's what I wanted for this build. I wanted it to be very reliable and very simple. Which brings us to the next point. I mean, there's some cars that will show up here that are really awesome and they will shred this car. No doubt about it. I mean, I can see that readily. But the question is, can they run hard year after year? Can they be a daily driver? Now, I've, I've met guys who are running Evo 8 that are putting down, you know, 700 wheel or something like that. And the question I have is, is your car going to be in a, the parts bin in a year? A lot of them are. I mean, when you boost it, you don't know what you're doing on the tune. You're going to blow your engine up, bend a connecting rod. And that's why I had STS do this, uh, specifically Mark at STS, who knows the, the VQE35, the motor in this car, and what it can do, uh, especially in its stock configuration. I'm not going to say or guarantee this engine is not going to go, um, but I'm doing everything I can at its boost level to trying to preserve it. And then when it shreds, it shreds. We'll put a new motor in then eventually when money rolls around. Uh, a clutch will be coming in, just not yet. We're going to run this one. Last year when I did the launches, I was smoking the clutch really hard. I was really worried. I thought I'd burn it out. So I cannot launch like that anymore. i got to do kind of a roll on, bring on the boost slowly, and then once it's there, We'll run it down the track or wherever we're going to do it. Okay, so um, this is built to be durable, and that's why, again, I had STS do it. Really, really important point. Because some guys will say, oh, man, should boost it more. Well, I don't want to blow the motor, man. Here's my stack right here. Same one you saw Rick Squires talk about last year. There's my oil temp on the top. There's my boost gauge. I have a light, uh, low and high boost. I'm not running a lot because the compression on the stock motor is so high. Like 10-ish high boost if I remember right. Probably am not. There's my AFR. You'll see that run about 10.4 under high boost. Methanol injection is now working. So I'm very happy about that. Mark uh, connected that last year when we ran a track. It wasn't. That's going to keep the temperatures down in the motor. And it's basically just injecting the washer fluid in it. And this is my boost light here. So you'll see under hard running, you'll see both of those blinking hard. Shift knob, that's a BQM right there. Interior's pretty stock. Uh, I've got an iPhone app I'm gonna be running. Uh, it's like Harry's racetrack app. I've never used it, don't know if it'll help me. I'll try. Between those three perspectives, I'll have enough footage to maybe piece together an interesting video. Now, uh, some guys say, well, you know, do it this way, run the cameras that way. And I hear what you're saying. But the problem is not a lot of guys are interested in these car videos <laughs> in TMP. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to put a, a ton of editing effort into it because you know if it gets 20,000 hits, yeah, it's just not worth, worth it. I got other projects I need to do in TMP. But I know, I'm surprised. I thought there'd be more car guys here in the Night Fancy Project. But I know there's some and the, the ones that are gonna watch this video are very passionate and I appreciate you guys. But if you guys get Miller to open up the track for a full on run, not the coned silliness we'll have to put up with today, because on the west and east track, uh, tracks, they got cones. And so you've got, it like controls your entry point and I hate that. And you really can't go that fast and you gotta bring it down, get on the binders again. So if you guys can do that for me, I'm down, dudes. You know, we'll get a, we'll do it right. We'll get a full on film crew and we'll see what we can do. Um, but the overall writing rule is I don't want to wreck it. <laughs> I don't. Okay, that's 3D carbon rear apron on the back. Uh, last year, some guys were saying, hey man, it looks like you know one exhaust is, is being used and one isn't. That's actually the STS turbo system, which is a rear mount turbo system. That's the one that's always exhausting. Under high boost, the left one comes into play. Also, well, when I showed you this, uh, there's a turbo right there. That one's going to be good up to about 650. It's real efficient where it's running right now, 417 wheel. Uh, I'm not thermal wrapped on the exhaust yet. Maybe one day. Uh, I haven't had any scraping issues that I'm aware of down there. If uh, guys are wondering, you know, because when I showed you in that one mini video, I said, hey, I showing you as I drove down the street. It just hasn't been an issue, and so I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, 
the legitimate criticism on a rear mount turbocharged system is that it's slower to build up boost. I will concur with that. Haven't driven this car for over a year now. Well, not over, but about a year. It is. You got to stay in boost, and there's some clutch techniques if you want to do. If you want to burn your clutch, I ain't doing those. But once it's in boost, high boost, um, it's pretty insane. Remember, the build was to try to beat a, a Z06, and I think I'm about on par. It'd be a really tough race, though, because 417 wheel a Z06 is uh, what crank 500. It'd be close, um, and those things build, you know, a lot of velocity right off the line. A uh, couple stickers here. I know you've been looking at them. I love that one. No, it doesn't have any Nismo components on it. It used to. I just love that. It's just, the gold theme is nice. That's a car group back in, in uh, back east somewhere, and they're really cool. Uh, I just like their logo. So that's on. And then we got Ralph Wiggum's picking his nose here. Just in case someone thinks I'm taking myself seriously, they pull up and see this. So I'm not. <laughs> We're here to have fun, man. Have fun. What else? Brembo brakes are uh, on the on the car still. That's stock. This is a Grand Touring 2006 350Z, and uh, it has all the amenities that Brembo's came with. I've seen no reason to change them. I don't bring it to a track the track often enough to put race fluid in it or put race pads on it. Maybe one day, just not yet. Uh, I think that's it. Doodle should be here shortly. I'm going to just stay in line and uh, get in for the track. I'm not going to go for autocross right off because this track's only open until 8 o'clock then they shut the doors. Yeah, maybe two runs would be my prediction with the amount of cars that show up to wide open Wednesday here. It's just not a lot. Not a lot of runs that you're going to get. All right. So, none fancy project. Killer. 350Z. I think I covered most everything. Hey, if you're an Evo fan, a uh, Subi fan, I say rock on, brother, but check this out. <laughs> guys love this. Those are my kills on you guys. Haven't seen one yet that's beat me. Not yet. They're out there. I'm not saying they're not out there. I just ain't seen it. You know, just informal racing, nothing crazy. Yeah, there's some fast ones out there, I know. Wrapping it up, check out the vids on the track, and hopefully this will hold true. Objects in mirror are losing. <laughs> Lighten up, man. Killer 350Z. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Here we go.